Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Zimri Mayfield, back with another flat design tutorial in Adobe Illustrator. Let's name this one Flat Design Building. Hallelujah. And then my width is 1920 and my height is 1080. Heck yas, let's get started. Press OK. And since I've been working with some colors before, I'm going to control C these, come back to this artboard, and press control V to bring them into here. Okay, now that we've got our colors and we've got our artboard, let's get crack a lacking. So, as always, what I like to do is press M to get the, you know what, I'm going to call these what they should be called, rectangle tool. And then I'm going to click and drag from the top left corner to the bottom right, just like that. And then, since this is selected, I can press I to fill in a color. Let's make it this. Mm, that's gross. Let's make it. Let's make it red. Oh my gosh, the decision is so tough. I'm just just do it and go with it. Okay, that's my design tip for the day, by the way. Do it and go with it. Okay, let's get started with the body of this building. So. Go back to M, so you got the rectangle tool, and then we'll just click and drag whatever we think is appropriate, something like that. Oh, here's another tip. Since the shape I'm working with, you can see the outline is blue, and then my background is blue, it's a little bit hard to see. That's because our layer color is blue. So anything we make on this layer, the outline will be blue. So all you have to do is, what am I doing here? Double click on this, and then you can come up with this colors. I'm gonna make it red. There we are. And since I accidentally locked it, I'm going to unlock it. Now, everything, all the lines that I make will now be red, so I'll be able to see it pretty well. Whew, that's super cool. All right, so I'm going to make this white. I selected it, pressed I to get the color dropper, and then I clicked that white. So that's how we had that. OK, excellent. Now what I want to do is make four boxes. Hold shift while you drag out. It'll make a perfectly square box. And I'm going to make that blue. So what I want to do now is make two of them. So just click and drag one and hold shift so that it goes straight across like that. And then hold alt so that it copies itself. So now if I let off the mouse, boom, we made two versions of the same thing. Heck yas, that's super cool. OK, now let me select both of these by holding shift while I click on both of them. Hold alt and shift again. Now I have all four. I'm going to come to this one and make it just a little bit wider. Okay, nice. Now, what I would like to do is make sure that they're all equidistant apart. One of the easy ways to do that is to make a box from there to there, and we'll just make it green, some horrendous green that we can see really easy, and then put it here. Boom. Ooh. Ooh. Got to make sure they line up. And this is all just no, no keyboard or anything, just use your mouse, you know? Go back to the way it used to be when men worked with their hands. Men and women and children all worked with their... Okay, I'm going to stop with that. Okay, so now they're all equidistant apart. Perfect. Um, what I can do now is select all four of these by holding Shift while I click on them. And then I can just do the same trick, Alt and Shift down again. But what I will do is... I'm going to create that box again, the green one. Hold shift when you make it so that it's the same distance around. And then we can move it down here. See, and then we see that we have to move all of these down just a little bit. OK. Uh, there might be other ways to do this. There probably is. But this is just my way to do it. Make a little box and then put it around so you can have the same distance. I'm actually going to keep that box, though. Don't get rid of the box. And then I'm going to select all of these ones. Bam. OK, now I have all of the windows I want for my building. Dunzos. Heck yas. No, I lied. I totally lied. I want two more. So zoom in by pressing Control Plus. I'm going to select just the outer ones. Bring down this. Hold Alt and Shift. Make sure they align with that. And there we are. Now we can create our door to the building. Just, just use the box tool. This might be the most simple tutorial since all we're doing is the box tool over and over. Okay, now what I would like to do is actually get kind of a darker gray in here. Something like esto. Okay, and then I'll color drop that little bit darker gray in there. Okay, perfect. 
Now I would like to make a smaller box inside of this box. So I'm going to press Control C to copy it, Control F to paste a new one on top. Now I have the top one selected. I'm going to hold Alt while I drag in one side. That will drag in both sides. And then I'm going to bring up, bring in the top side there. Okay, perfect. I'm actually going to make the outside box, the bigger box, dark gray. Something like that, but that's way too dark. So I'm going to go and make it somewhat lighter. Yeah. Perfect. And then let's bring that down so it looks more even all around. I'm going to make another box here that's the same width. Put it there, make it the dark brown, uh, dark gray. And then if I want to align it in the middle, I can just select this one, hold shift and select this one, hit this horizontal align center, and then we can move it all back over to wherever we, you know, I'm not really a fan of align. I think it's better just to intuit where things should be. You know what though? You know what though? This door needs to go all the way to the bottom. What, they expect people at the hospital to be able to step step up onto there that's crazy the architect of this building is ridiculous okay so we're getting a good base i'm going to select all of it if you want to deselect something hold shift while you click on it see how that got the background out of our selection i'm going to make it a wee bit shorter okay cool deselect background now what i would like to do is make kind of a, a top roofy part thing that's actually the technical term for it a top roofy part thing don't forget that okay cool that looks good I'm gonna center you know what though I'm actually gonna make all of this a group just this building part so make it a group by pressing control G perfect okay now what we can do is select our group and this and then we can align center yeah look at that it was basically already aligned Wow I'm such a boss okay now I'm, I'm going to ungroup this, so press Control shift g That'll break up the group. Oh, sad days for the group. Okay, so I would like to make a shadow from this top thing, so I'm just going to do it very, very simply. I'm going to make a box like that. Then I'm going to fill it with black. Wow. And then, since that's... Look, if we zoom out, that black is wicked strong. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the opacity to, like, 30 maybe 30 what do we think what do we think is that oh yeah look look it's looking good right it's getting some life to it all right now what i want to do is make our windows more realistic so for this i'm actually just going to use the pen tool so press p to get the pen tool makes a lot of sense and then just click all of these corners here all the way across like that okay and then what you can do is just, just do the same thing we did while making the boxes. Click on it, hold Alt and Shift at the same time, drag it to where it should be, and then you can select all of them. Hold, holding Alt and Shift, bring them down, and then deselect the two by holding Shift while you do that, and then bring them down. Oh my gosh, I didn't do it. There we go. Hold Alt and Shift. All right, see? That looks ridiculous. It's pretty cool. It can actually... Wow! It's like a dangerous building. Okay, but I don't want it to look like that. So select all of these. Wow, I should have kept them selected. Just just have patience. Okay, and then make them white. Boom, shakalaka. And then if we want, we can change the opacity. Let's do it again to 30. Okay, something like that. You see how that's looking? It's looking pretty good, right? I think so. Okay, so let's do a similar thing to our door here. Just to give it a little bit of life. Um, bring this middle bar to the top by pressing Control, Shift, right bracket. Just like that. And I think what I can do is just copy this one. So all you have to do is color drop. So press I and then click on what you want. To color drop something... Um, when you color drop something, it takes the opacity settings as well. So if, so since this was opacity 30%, when I color drop this one, the opacity also changed to 30%. That's a, that's a quick little, quick little tip. Um, and then I'm just going to make a, make a hospital sign up here. I'm going to make it white. Yes, I always say white that way. Okay, and then 
just make some make uh make 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 like one of these and then color drop it with i into red and then what i'll do is control c control f copy it paste it on top of itself click the top one and just hold there and then hold shift when it gets close to there and it'll snap it straight shift no shift shift perfect okay now we've got our thingy here what i actually like to do is put these shapes together so i'm gonna go to my sh uh, pathfinder and go unite boom shakalaka now i can select both of these and go horizontal align center and also vertical align center so now i know that my hospital sign is in the middle of my my big sign okay now what i can do is put it down so it touches the building okay and if i want this to be perfectly in the center which i'm pretty sure it's very close to you know what actually i think it should be a little bit to the right but for anyone who really wants everything to be super aligned, what you can do is select the hospital sign, make it a group, and then select all of the building, uncheck the background, make it a group also, and then select your two groups, and then go horizontal align center. Look at that! It didn't even move. I'm so good at this. Okay, look, if I put it there, I'm just going to put it there to show you. Select both your groups and go horizontal align center. But it didn't move. Yeah. Okay, so break the group, control shift G. Control shift G. Wow. We've been doing a lot of group breaking today. All right, cool. Check it out. That is, that's our building. It's looking pretty good. I'm going to give the door some handles. Um, just with the, with, just with the box tool again. Man, this is, this is like the most complicated tutorial ever. Yeah. If I really wanted these to be this, okay, I'm going to do it. I got to make sure these are the same distance. By bringing back my green box, then bring it over like that, and then they are the same distance now. Okay, should the handles be red? Yes, actually, they should. I like the way that stands out. I really like the way that stands out. Now, I might do something with the entire building here. Okay, you know what? This is, this is too much right here. This needs to be shrunken. Shrunken down. There we are. Okay, so I'm, I'm actually going to toy around with making a whole shadow on top of the entire building. So I'm going to select everything except for the background, press Control G to group it, and then, and then, and then, I can copy it, Control C, and then I can paste another one on top of itself with Control F. I'll take that one and unite that sucker. Yeah! Now it's all one shape. I'm going to make it black. Boom, shaka laka. And then maybe I'll make it, I'll cut it right down the middle. You think I should cut it down the middle? We're at an angle. Well, let's see. Okay, so the lights on that side and the shadows on this side. I guess that makes sense. Okay, so now select both of these and go minus front. That got rid of all that. Now we can come back to our opacity. Change that sucker to like 10%. Just a very subtle difference, but brings the whole thing together. Flat design is so amazing because just with making very, very simple shapes, we can make it, you know, it, I think flat design is a is a delicate balance between making it too detailed, too realistic, and making it too simple. And you got to find that, find that delicate balance to make a really good flat design icon. I'm not saying this is really good. I mean, I think it's okay. But I'm just saying it. that's, that's what you should endeavor to do in flat design. Find that balance, that chi. Yeah, heck yes. Okay, philosophy lesson over. Okay, uh, I just wanted this to be a very quick tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it, and, well, I hope that you, you found some tips from it. And if you did, be sure to comment in the section. Be like, wow, that's the weirdest flat design hospital I've ever seen. Or you could be like, the doctors at that place didn't treat me very well. Uh, don't, well, you, that would be kind of weird to write. Or you could subscribe to my channel if you want to make me um, an even more happy person. Okay, I'll catch you next time. Bye! Adios!